as you begin listening to the sounds of my voice. You can close your eyes and begin to allow yourself to become comfortable. Because no matter where you are, once your eyes are closed, you can begin imagining being anywhere. So for example, you could imagine what it would be like to be lying down on your back on an air mattress, floating in a beautiful pool of water. With one of those days when the sun is shining, warming the skin of your body. One of those days and times when there's nothing you have to do. Floating and drifting underneath the warm sun. On a beautiful pool of water. And at times like this, time begins to become irrelevant. And you've had times like this before, being in love, doing something fun, being completely engrossed in a movie or a sport. And time ceases to matter. All that matters is allowing your body to rest and to relax deeply now. And you can allow your feet to begin relaxing deeply. And notice what your feet feel like if you allow them to relax deeply now. Are they comfortable? Is any part of either foot comfortable? Or are both feet completely and totally comfortable? And what is this quality of feeling like? What if you could bottle it? What if you could turn it into suntan lotion? What if you could rub that feeling on different parts of your body? so that your whole body can feel very comfortable now. And when the body is so comfortable, it's easy to slip down, deeper, down, now, into peace. and to allow the legs to relax so completely that they can feel as heavy as tree limbs. Heavy. Relaxed. Comfortable. 
and now the arms relaxed and heavy like tree limbs as you drift down deeper and now all of your attention upon your eyelids let your closed eyelids become so completely relaxed all the tension gone and you know that as long as you prevent tension from re-entering your eyelids they just won't work so when you're sure that all the tension is gone from your eyelids when you're willing to refrain from allowing any tension to return to them give them a test prove to yourself that under those conditions they just won't work and then send all the relaxation in and around your eyelids in gentle waves all the way down your body rippling down to your toes gentle waves of relaxation washing over you now and as I count from five down to one with each number let another wave of relaxation wash over you from your eyelids to your toes Five. Four. Go deeper. Three. Deeper down. As you listen to my voice. Two. one all the way down to peace and in a moment I will count from three down to one at the count of one you will be walking through a beautiful tunnel with light at the end three two one be walking through a beautiful tunnel now with light at the end And it may be that it's like you're floating through this tunnel. Like floating through time and space. Ten, nine, eight, floating through this tunnel toward the light when I count the number one you will be all the way through the tunnel you will be in the presence of your spirit council and 
your spirit guide. Seven. Six. Five. Just drifting through this tunnel toward the light. Four. Toward people, beings, wise and loving beings. Three. Two. One. In the brilliant light now, your eyes adjusting. In the presence of your spirit guide. In the presence of your spirit counsel. Wise and loving elders. And the guide, or perhaps a member of the council, now hands you a gift. Take this gift with gratitude into your hands. And if the gift is something you can open, feel free to open the gift. Noticing any colors, any designs that may be associated with this gift. Turning it over in your hands. Noticing the texture. Noticing the weight. And noticing how you feel in the presence of your guide, in the presence of your counsel, with this gift in your possession. And you can thank the guide, thank the counsel for giving you this gift. And as though you can speak to them purely mind to mind, ask them, of all the gifts you could have given me at this stage of my spiritual development, why did you choose to give me this one? Notice your guide. Notice the counsel. And if you can discern how they're dressed, their age, how you feel in their presence, note all of these things in the back of your mind. and ask them, what is the important spiritual lesson I am working on in my present life? Ask them, how many lifetimes have I been working on this spiritual lesson? And 
in a moment, I will count from three down to one and snap my fingers. When I snap my fingers, your guides will be showing you a scene, a scene from your present life where you were moving directly towards, where you were directly aligned with your spiritual purpose or spiritual lesson. Three, two, one. Be in the scene now from your present life. And notice what's happening. Notice what you're doing. Who you're with, or if you're alone. Notice how you feel. Catalog in the deepest parts of your mind all of the relevant and important details for later. When I snap my fingers again, your guides will be showing you another scene from your present life, a contrasting scene where you are moving farther away, misaligned with your important spiritual lesson. Three, two, one. Notice what's happening in this scene. What you're doing. Who you're with or if you're alone. And how you feel. Returning back to your spirit guide and your spirit council on three, two, and one. Back with your council now. Back with your spirit guide. Ask your guides if any challenges you've had in your present life, sickness, injury, heartbreak, accidents, if any of these challenges are related in some way to your higher spiritual goal or lesson for this life, and if so, ask them how. Ask your guides if you are attempting to balance karma in your present lifetime. Ask your guides if you are assisting someone else in your present life with helping them balance karma. Ask your guides if you chose one or both of your parents before you were born into your present lifetime. If the answer is yes, 
Ask them, why? Why did you choose this parent or these parents? Ask your guides if they would like to bring your attention to any relationships that you have had previously in your present life or any relationships you have presently in your current life. And if so, what is the significance of these relationships? Ask your guides if any person in your present lifetime is present in order to help you learn an important spiritual lesson. And if so, is it your main lesson? And how are they helping you to learn this lesson? Ask your guides if you have any outstanding spiritual contracts, oaths, promises, affirmations, any outstanding spiritual contracts that are still in force, that are no longer in your highest and best interest. If the answer to this question is yes, ask them if they can produce both the old contract and produce a new contract, if that's relevant, that is in your highest and best interest. If it's appropriate, If your guides agree, you can tear up and destroy the old contract that no longer is in your highest and best interest. And if appropriate and relevant, you can sign the new contract that is in your highest and best interests. And then give the new contract to your spirit guide for safekeeping. And now, you can ask your guides, if you don't already know, what is my spirit name? They can either say this for you, or they can spell it. And now ask them, what does this name mean?
and now you can ask them if there is a deceased relative a loving wise kind deceased relative either someone you knew in your present life or you didn't who wants to come and share wisdom with you let them come if you wish for this to happen and if the guides are amenable on three two and one let this loving and wise deceased relative come to you now if it's appropriate If they are here and you haven't already, feel free to interact with them, to embrace them, to hear what they have to say to you. When I snap my fingers again, a group of spiritual healers will arrive to work with you. Healers, perhaps like acupuncture, Reiki, massage, shaman, other types of healers will come to work with you if you are amenable to this on three, two, and one. I will be quiet for a few moments while they work with you. helping you to balance your mind, release negative energy, fill yourself with light, heal anything that needs healing by allowing anything that needs to change, to shift and change and change and shift for your greatest and highest good. And now you can thank the healers. And before you leave to 
come back to the present time and place, you can ask your guides, is there any piece of wisdom or advice they wish to share with you right now? And now you can thank your guides for everything they've done for you, for continuing to be a loving and wise presence in your life, in your existence. And please thank them for me too. And now you turn and begin to return to the present time and place by entering the tunnel and walking and floating through the tunnel. When I count the number 10, you will be lying down again on that air mattress. One, two, three, walking back, drifting back to the present time and place. Four, five, six, your whole body is loose, calm, relaxed, and balanced. Seven, Eight, nine, a perfect memory of everything that transpired during this time with your guides. And 10, resting again on the air mattress, floating on the surface of the water in the beautiful pool Everything about you is at peace. Feeling so calm and content. Perhaps even grateful. In a moment, I will count to three. At the count of three, your eyelids will flutter open and you will be back in the present time and place fully and completely feeling perfect in every way. One, a gentle surge of energy rising up through your body from your feet to your head. Two, and back down through your arms so that your whole body feels alive, vital, awake, and aware with a perfect memory of everything that transpired during this time with your guides. Three, all the way back, eyes open. If you like this track, remember to click like, the subscribe button, and the bell notification.